Howdy, Mr. Kazi here, coming to you from my virtual studios in beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I'm going to bring you a problem of the week on electron configuration. Let's get started. You're going to need a periodic table. And here's the problem. How do you write the orbital notation for chromium? Well, first, let's determine the number of uh, electrons. And that's uh, chromium has 24 electrons. We can get that off the periodic table. And then next, we need to look at the periodic table and determine the energy levels and the orbitals involved. Let's go look at our periodic table. And the energy levels are just the periods. So we're going to look at um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice that right here is where um, chromium is, and we're going to have the S, the P's, and the D's involved. So we have four energy levels. We have the S, P's, and D's. And don't forget that right here, this is the three D's, and the four S's come just before that. So we have that overlap in our orbital notation. Okay, first the electron configuration. Chromium has 24 electrons. It has four energy levels. And it has sp and d orbitals. So let's uh, take a 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, and 3d5. And then remember, uh, there's an electron jump from the 4s to the 3d uh, in chromium. That happens with chromium and copper and a few of the others. All right, let's look at the orbital notation. 1s, so we'll fill those in. Now remember, no more than two electrons per orbital. And then 2s and 2p, fill those in. And of course, there's Hund's rule. We have 3s and 3p. Then remember, we have 4s1 and then 3d. Again, we have Hund's rule. And then we're going to put 1 in the 4s. And we're going to have one of those uh, electrons jump up into the 3Ds. So uh, there it is. There's our orbital notation for chromium. In the recap, use your periodic table. Determine the number of electrons. Determine the energy levels. Determine the orbitals. And write the electron configuration and orbital notation. All right. As usual, if you have any questions, send me an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Happy eyes, everyone.